it's almost time for supper and I have to fight inflation somehow so I'm shopping here at the dollar store where nothing costs a dollar everything's at least a dollar and a quarter but what I'm gonna do is put together a dollar store pizza and I'm gonna see if we can do that cheaper than buying a pizza kit or a frozen pizza anywhere else Look at this, they have beanie weenies. I haven't seen that in ages. I mean, I never ate that, but I haven't seen it in ages. I can make from scratch with tomato sauce, but then I'd have to buy a lot of extra ingredients. So let's go the easy way and simply get a jar of pizza sauce. And I found a couple of pizza crusts. Now just a little bit of cheese and that would do it, but I'm gonna see if I can find some kind of topping to make this a little more than just bare bottom pizza. We might end up with that, but I'm gonna try. I do like olives. This might be an option. And here's our shredded pizza. That is six ounces. And what do we have down here? That is six ounces as well. If I shred my own, um, that doesn't look like it's any more. That is uh, only four ounces. Of course, we could buy some kind of singles and put on there. That wouldn't taste good at all, though. So I guess I'm going to go for the Mexican blend. It doesn't have spices. It's just a variety of different cheeses. They even have a few different types of sausages. I guess I could slice that up and put it on the pizza. But I think I'm going to go with the black olives. The funny thing is, they do have little tiny frozen pizzas here. So I could just go the easy route, but they don't look very big. I'm back home ready to make my dollar store pizza. Let me show you what I got. I bought two pizza crusts, two bags of shredded cheese, pizza sauce, the olives, and some frozen sausage patties. These are Jimmy Dean. So all told, a dollar and a quarter, dollar and a quarter, so that would be one pizza's worth. So that's two and a half dollars and half a jar of sauce would be about 60, 65 cents. So we're talking about $2.10. If you add a topping, you'll probably add about another 60 cents to that because I can't imagine using more than half a jar of this, probably not even that much. And same thing here, probably only two of these patties would be enough to cover a pizza. So you can figure out what you would want on your pizza. We're gonna call this about a $3 pizza. Now, I did something else. I bought one of their frozen pizzas for a dollar and a quarter. A lot easier, a lot faster. I'm gonna compare it for taste, texture. We're gonna look at the overall size of the pizza. It's less than half price. We'll see how we do with a comparison test. So let's get this oven preheated. Now I think I could do this with my air fryer, but the pizzas I bought are too big. The frozen one could certainly go in there. That might save a little time, but we're gonna make sure we're making both of these exactly the same way, the frozen one and the dollar store fresh pizza. So let's get started. I'm going to cheat just a little bit and add some fresh basil. Okay, so we're gonna start my putting on some of this pizza sauce. I don't think we even have to use the whole jar or the half a jar. I think that even when I put on there seems like an awful lot of sauce. So we're probably gonna get by with maybe even getting three pizzas out of that one jar of sauce. Yeah, that's only about a third of a jar so far and you can see there's plenty of sauce on this pizza. I don't know what you like, if you like taking that sauce all the way to the edge or not. I did put parchment paper on here so it's not messy and by the way that parchment paper was also from the dollar store. That didn't open the way I was hoping it would. Oh this is actually a lot of cheese in this package. Probably more cheese than I need for one pizza as well. 
So I think we can actually stretch this budget even a little more. So I probably overestimated the cost of this pizza because we certainly don't need this entire bag of cheese. And look at that, we only used about two thirds of the cheese as well. So this is going really well. Now, do you wanna put a topping on? If you do, we could take a couple of these sausage patties or we could take some olives. Okay, so these are whole olives. So we're going to have to cut those. And I am not good at slicing olives, so I don't know how long this is gonna take me. We'll see how far that'll get us. I can put as many or as few on as I would like. It's a great thing about making things like that yourself because everyone has different tastes. You know, there are some people that just would want this being completely covered where you almost couldn't see the cheese in the sauce and other people would like to just get a little taste of it. So I don't know if you think what I'm doing here is a lot of olives on the pizza or not that many at all. You can let me know down below if you'd like. Do you like olives on the pizza? In fact, in the comments, let me hear what your favorite toppings are. What would you be putting on this pizza right now? Of course, in my case, I was limited by what I found in the store, but this looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to pop this in the oven. I still haven't made the sausage one. I'll probably do that as well. But I'm gonna put this in the oven along with the frozen pizza and we're gonna see how they compare. Now in just a minute, I'm gonna compare these by weight, but if you compare these by size, I mean, this is, I don't know, two and a half times bigger. So let's pop these in the oven. And we're gonna set the timer for about 10 minutes and then we'll take a look and see what those pizzas look like. I forgot to add the fresh basil, so I took that out of the oven for a moment and spread it all out, and it's going back in the oven now. And while that's cooking, I made a second pizza. This one has black olives and sausage. I haven't even cracked the other bag of cheese, and we still have about a half a jar of pizza sauce left. So we are really making our dollar stretch here with our dollar store pizza, and doesn't that look delicious? That one's gonna have to be mine because my wife doesn't eat meat. Probably why she looks 20 years younger than she is. People see us together and say, why, why is that young chick with that old guy? Anyways, the alarm just went off. So we're now going to have to reset it for about another five minutes. I already have in fact, because that wasn't anywhere near done yet. And I'm gonna cut this with my ulu. And ulu is a utensil, a tool that they use up in Alaska. And when I was in Alaska, I bought this. And I really like it. Very versatile, much better than a knife or a pizza cutter. And there we go. Looks pretty tasty. Let's get the uh, the frozen pizza out and we will compare. There we go. I'll move into a plate. This looked like the cheese melted a lot better. The, the cheese, this is really hot, but the cheese didn't melt quite as well, I don't think. But we're gonna give it a taste test and see which we like best. Well, here it is. The real test, of course, is the taste test. So let's start with the frozen, the crust, is a little doughy. Um, not a lot of flavor. It's all right. Um, there's not a lot of rich flavor coming through. As far as frozen pizzas go, yeah, it's about a B. It's not bad for a dollar and a quarter. Let's try our homemade 
from Dollar Store Ingredients. Crust is firmer, obviously it's not collapsing or anything. The richness of fresh ingredients, if you want to call, I mean, they're canned olives, but they're fresh cut, they're not frozen. Uh, the basil sure helps. It's not a great pizza. I would say it suffers from a better quality sauce. Maybe if I would have sprung for a brand name sauce, if I would have gone to the grocery store, this pizza would be a lot better. But considering it's under $3 for an entire pizza, and it could even be cheaper than that if I didn't put the toppings on, this is not a bad pizza. So if you want to stretch your dollar, you know, it's a lot of inflation around. Uh, the dollar store might be the place to get the ingredients and take it home, make a couple of pizzas for yourself uh, for, what was the bill, $7, seven and a half dollars. They got two big 12 inch pizzas. That's not bad. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little experiment. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to finish this pizza. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. So long. Mm -hmm.